What's up, everybody? It's Coach Kramer, and due to the coronavirus, I can't get in the gym right now just like you can't get in the gym right now, but we're not going to stop getting the videos out. In fact, we may give out even more in the coming weeks, uh, but it'll be looking a little bit differently. We'll be using videos, instruction that we've already recorded, as well as anything that I can use and demonstrate from my little garage gym. So probably expect a lot of ball handling. So let's get into it right here. Alright, so there's three main things I want you to think about as you're watching this video, and it's all based on where the defensive player is in relation to the ball handler. If the defender is very tight to the body, or maybe multiple defenders, if they're trapping, we need to have a low, quick, tight, strong hand. Where we're low and quick in our stance with our body, we can take quick dribbles to, to get out of trouble keeping our, our speed with the basketball. Now, if we get more space, so about arm's length away from our defense player, we start to manipulate the ball a little bit, get up in the dribble, triple threat, and that's where you would use like your wide crosses, where you're low, you're wide, you're trying to shift the defensive player out. And then when we have even more space, now we can get behind the basketball and we can push that basketball out into open space and follow it with our body. Let's get to the game film. We'll look at those three different situations. Okay, so we constantly have to be able to dribble the basketball low and tight and then be able to get it up high and push it out and cover ground. So he's got the steal, double team came, ball was low and tight, got the open space, dribble comes up, now we can cover ground. Defensive rebound, defenders are coming. It's got to be a low and tight dribble, getting out of trouble. Space, ball comes up, defender comes out, ball goes back down, gets more space, ball comes back up again. Now, when the defender's about arm's length away, we're not pushing the basketball out in front. We're also not low and tight with the ball. Now we're stretching the basketball around our hips, trying to string the basketball outside of our body, being able to create a driving angle or shift our defender, and then we can do some damage. So we need to have the ability to push the basketball out in front of our body when we have space. We need to have the ability to control the basketball tight and low when there's one or multiple defenders in a tight space. And we need to be able to have the basketball up, string around our hips to improve driving angles so that we can manipulate the defense and create for ourselves as well as others. So it's not about mastering one, it's about having everything in the bag so you can become an elite ball handler. Let's get better. Hey, thanks for checking out our video today. If you found it beneficial, uh, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel as we'll come out with at least two videos every month. And right now we'll come out with even more than two videos every single month to help you continue to improve your game. Let's get better.